I don't know about this strange looking man, do you? Just wanders around, he wears this funny coat that he's got paint all over all the time. This is clean. This is clean. I don't recognize him. You want to do yours first? Oh, you okay, I got the mic. We've only been team teaching together for five years. This is art and choral exploration for those of you who don't know. And these kids spend half their time with art and half their time with music and maybe another 50% on projects in between. Is that about right? Yeah. Kind of? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Outstanding choral members this year include three individuals who are very deserving. And I guess I'll talk about this one first since the card came up first. Probably the most agreeable person that I know. She gets along with everybody and uh, just is such an addition. She's such a graceful addition to any group she's part of. And she has a wonderful sense of pitch and ability to find parts and does very well as a mermaid. Did I say it right? Mer? I have problems with mermaids. I usually call them ladyfish. This is Kirsten Evenson. The next one is a young man that rolls on the floor a lot. Yes, he did get two awards, and he deserves it. Uh, the work that he puts in and his ability to read parts and to lead sections is phenomenal. Uh, Ed Littlefield. of these is, oh, I, I, I like to say that he's probably the most talented uh, young bass that I've had in 21 years of teaching. Uh, what's so nice is this leadership style uh, and this sense of wit that comes through and underneath it all is this marvelous talent, this sense of pitch and ability to find parts and to work with a lot of different types of groups. He's just, he's just, he's just invaluable, Andrew Hames. Mrs. Packer makes this seem so easy. Visual arts aren't supposed to be up here in front of people like this, so it's real awkward. Um, normally, I, I give two visual arts award for people in this uh, choir. And um, uh, as you can tell, they're an extraordinary group of uh, kids. And boy, are they a pleasure to work with. Uh, although I normally give two, we had such a close vote uh, virtually a tie between two of them, so I'm going to give three tonight. Why not? Uh, they're all deserving. And in fact, about um, the class votes on these, and fi about 15 people got votes. The first one um, was a runaway, and it's no, no surprise to this class, although I don't see her up here. She's um, extraordinary talent, uh, gifted, in the 18 years that I've been teaching, she's the most creative te uh, student I've had. Um, and that would be Jen Austin. Anybody seen her? <laughs> Second young uh, person that uh, was voted by this class <clears throat> is a stalwart in this, uh, in this group. I mean, uh, there were so many times that, that this person just worked so hard and so diligent and helps other people, um, is very talented, wonderful person. And I know his parents very well, and they're very proud of him, Carl Jordan. <laughs> wow. And lastly, um, this guy just makes me laugh all the time. Uh, he's, he's really unique, and I think it's, it's partially cultural, but it's partially personal. 
And oftentimes when I ask, um, ask him, how are things going, he, he often replies, um, well, I hope. <laughs> Yusuke Zawa. And this is for our accompanist, who we'd like to call Auntie Mame. She keeps threatening she's going to come in and something outlandish, but most of the time she's just wonderful.